Hi team. So there is a new announcement by Hugging Face team. So they have come up with a official package for the Langchain community. So earlier Hugging Face was supported within Langchain, but it was supported by various communities. So for example, we were having chat as well as embedding models and they were not officially supported. It was supported by a set of people who were maintaining it as a community. But now this new package which has come, it is fully supported by Hugging Face as a company. So we have this new library and in today's video we are going to see how do we use this library for our various use cases. So we will see for example text generation, we will see uh, you know sort of summarization as well as embedding. So let's get started. So here is the collab notebook. So first of all what I'm trying to do is I'm just mounting my drive and then what I'm trying to do is I'm just loading some environment variables for example HF token and all. And in this collab notebook I also give you know the older way of doing thing within Hugging Face community. So for example you know we can find out exactly what was going on prior to release of this library. So you know there were there were like Langchain community there were different models and so on and it was supported by uh, that particular thing. Now in the new package basically what we have to do is we just have to install Langchain Hugging Face and definitely uh, as of May 18th it is pretty nascent so definitely there will be new versions of this library announced in future. So expect some uh, bugs there. But yeah, basically what we are trying to do is we are going to install uh, this library which is Langchain Hugging Face and we may have to install some additional dependency for example accelerate and bits and bytes. And one thing to note is I am using L4 for GPU. So it might be different settings for you if you wanted to do with for example on T4. So just be uh, you know wary about what exactly GPU environment you are using based on that your library versions might change. So essentially we have installed these library versions. Now first of all uh, once we have installed it now earlier what we used to do is for example we used to have you know uh, everything supported from langchain community dot embeddings but now if you see you already have this particular uh, you know class file already available to you. So basically you have everything in Langchain Hugging Face and here what I'm trying to do is with this new library I'm trying to load MiniLM and I'm just trying to find out co-similarity, a cosine similarity between two sentences. So for example this is one sentence where you know I have something like revenue for the period went down and again the sentence, second sentence is sales declined for this period. And with mini LM, we are trying to get the embeddings out. That is point number one. And once we have the embedding for these two texts, what we are trying to do is we are just trying to find out the cosine similarity between these two. And here are the results. So if you see both of them are talking about revenue and sales. So pretty much revenue going down, sales declining. So these seems to be pretty much, uh, you know, same sentence semantically. And the cosine similarity between them is 0.64 which is you know uh, uh, almost like very similar. So that's what uh, that's how you use the embeddings. Now the second thing which we are going to see is text generation. So for example let's say uh, the way to do it is again from this library you can you know import hugging face pipeline and then you can you know just like you do in transformers model you just try to load that particular model and you are loading that mo model in 4 bit. So again you know this is a custom configuration you can load the full model but here I am loading it in 4 bit. And once you have the model what you try to do is you can send to the hugging face pipeline for this specific task like text generation and there are some you know other parameters that you can give. So basically what I am trying to do is I am trying to have a text generation I am just trying to see what will be the output post that. So the difference between sales and revenue is Let's see what does it give to us. So the difference between sales and revenue is the cost of goods sold. 
and some some something like that okay so maybe i try to generate uh, you know that text from this so the third example is more on summarization so again i am using you know langchain uh, hugging face pipeline and what i am trying to do is i am just trying to load you know a t5 base model and what i will go going to do is i am going to give it a big uh, not essentially big but a relatively uh, big news article and we'll try to see if it can summarize so basically the thing remains the same you pass it to hugging face pipeline with all the parameters like task you know tokenizer and so on and then what you try to do is you try to give it a text for example this text i gave and i just wanted to do the summarization so it, it, this is about you know uh, this news is about merger and acquisition so you know bain capital has teamed up with you know temsec to compete with blackstone and so on and it summarized this as you know this particular sentence so bain label bain i i think this is something which is like little uh, garbage but you know again it generated to compete with blackstone led consortium for a controlling stake in haldiram snack food private limited as a large buy so uh, i think it was a decent summarization so yeah so basically what we saw in this collab notebook was uh, you know three use cases one was for the embeddings using you know langchain hugging face then again with using langchain hugging face text generation and the third use case which we saw was summarization again more use cases are you know supported for example uh, translation and all so let's see in the future how does this library uh, you know have a tight embedding with the uh, langchain ecosystem so yeah that's that's it for today thanks team Thanks for watching. Bye.